Hello you smooth head fuck nuts, it's me with another stupid fucking video in which I review some retarded vehicle. Today we will be looking at the recent addition to the Swedish tree in 2020 summer event with a name so generic it makes the name Kyle look creative and that vehicle is the IKV 73. The IKV 73 is a battle rating 3.0 medium tank. Disguised as a tank destroyer for some reason. Even though it's just a STRVM 42 EH, bet it has to do with the extra machine gun. The IKV 73 is just a copy per stem slash 42 just like the entire fucking Chinese tech tree, and as such, has everything identical to the M slash 42. Except the extra machine gun, which is surprisingly useful at raping planes who try to attack you. The IKV 73 has armor more akin to an IKEA service van. It Summer on the LFP. And UFP are 55mm of roll knackerbred. The turret neck is about as weak as German economy after World War 1 as the bottom half is 53mm and the upper half be only a measly 9 fucking millimeters. The sides are about as sturdy as wet cardboard. Sitting at 30mm and tapering off to 25mm in some areas your roof armor is weaker than the fucking engines used to power the HS 129 ducks. And as such. Anybody with a fucking handgun will go through the roof as it is only 9mm. Maneuverability is decent. You are equipped with a 410 horsepower Volvo A8B that chugs Branvin and can crank out a top speed of 42km an hour on and off road, and has a reverse speed slower than your grandpa should faced on rum at 6km an hour. Which is really bad if you get caught by some fucktard. Also, your armor won't save your ass. So expect death or overall hull maneuverability is quite good as you can change direction fast and not lose too much speed in regards to firepower. It's the same fucking 75mm meatball shooter as we covered in the IKV-70 to review. In fact I might just play that clip now. Let's go over this shit. Stock you are equipped with the SLP PRJM 40 AP shell that can go through 85 millimeters of armor at 10 meters and has a muzzle velocity of 580 meters per second which isn't too bad. Next is the unlockable smog shell. The ROKGRM-22 which as I covered in the 2343 review are useful to be a general pestilence to your enemies by slinging a few in their face and flanking them. Next is the unlockable APHE shell aka the SLPGR-39 which can penetrate 63 millimeters at 10 meters and also travels at 580 meters per second unlike the smog shell that goes about as fast as a mouse. Last unlockable shell is the SLP PRJM-40B shell which performs basically the same as the standard AP shell, but this version has a pointy tip which makes it better, I guess. And goes 590 meters per second, so that's neat. I suppose. As the IKB-73 is premium, all shells are unlocked so keep that in mind. Your playstyle is to flank the ever-loving fuck out of people as your gun at 3.0 is sad, but you are blessed with a glorious amount of depression at minus 15 degrees allowing you to peak ridge lines, and surprise dumb fucks with a 75mm shell from places unexpected. Firing arcs on the roof mounted machine gun can be summed up in one word. Yes. It's able to fire almost 90 degrees upwards, and can rotate 360 degrees, and can deal a rather large amount of damage to planes, if enough hits are scored. As the IKV is premium, all mods are unlocked crew skills can be dumped into vitality, repair, targeting and range finding, reload, and leadership. With that said, remember that your armor is piss poor, your gun is mediocre, but you have speed and maneuverability to rush early positions or flank people. Your armor can absorb some shots, but don't count on it to reliably do so. If you don't get the IKV-73 don't fret, as it is the same as the STRVM-42, just with an extra fuck off machine gun. Anyway with that said, get out there, channel your inner robbers, and fuck people up.